think I can just lead off with Grim Snarl Thundee though, and that's gonna be like epic, just absolutely epic. And we're gonna bring Zacian in. We should be good there. I think that's like just ideal. Just, what is it? Like um, three weeks ago, I did a team building stream where you guys actually voted that I build around Tyrantrum. And after that, like the Tyrantrum stream, despite being awful, just sat in my team builder. And I keep getting comments saying like, when are you gonna show off that Tyrantrum team? I know something heat's cooking in there. And I'm like, no, sir, no, sir. Something heat was cooking in there for a total of five minutes and then it burnt in the oven and I'm too scared to take it out. That's what's going on in the oven at the moment. Understand? <laughs> okay. So, um... How do I want to do this? I could go for a fake out into the Grim Snarl and a Max Airstream into Kyogre. And that's probably fine. But I may actually just double here. I think I want to double for the potential to just absolutely KO it. You have to clean the oven eventually? This is true. This is true. Um, but not today. Not cleaning it today. I could do that thing, the self-cleaning oven, where you just have it burn everything on the inside till it just turns to ash and can easily be scrubbed away. Could do that. Alright, they do Dynamax. Uh, I am Assault Vested. If this manages to one-shot, this will be 100% worth it. Alright. A little bit of damage there. This isn't going to one-shot, by the way. I just really don't want him to get both screens up. There we go. Um, something also I could do this turn, if they end up targeting down my Thunderous, is I can Airstream into the Grimstar next turn and go for a Spirit Break on their Kyogre. Oh, that did quite a bit, actually. Maybe I don't do that. Oh, he's Life Orb. That, that could explain it. That could explain why that did like a million percent. Uh, let's go for the Spirit Break here. And a... Do I, do I do this? Let me think. It, be in, it might be in my best interest to get my Zacian in here. Yeah, I'm gonna, this is going to be a little bit risky. I'm going to get my Zacian in, and I'm going to go for an Airstream onto you, because I want to make sure that I actually outspeed the... Um, I want I want to get like another fake out opportunity, and I want to make sure that I can outspeed the incoming Zacian. He max guards, that's actually huge. Sucker Punch, that's not KOing me. That was pretty close, though. Gotta admit, comes pretty close. Uh, Kyogre should be gone next turn because I can just go for a Behemoth Blade into a Max Lightning, and that should do it. Let's see what it is. It could be... If it's Incineroar, they're, they're just throwing, but... Yeah. Um... There's almost no reason not to max lightning. Hmm. How important is the speed boost? Not super important. Let's get in Ferrothorn and uh, max lightning. Unless a Lando comes in, we're not in too much trouble.
Like, he's Life Orb. He's not going to like this damage, and that's not going to KO me. He also had to double here. Otherwise, that was like a huge throw. Max Geyser, watch that be into the Zacian. It was. Um, big disagree on my end, if I'm being real with you guys. I, I don't think that was the best idea. Uh, what I can do here is, since it's pretty much all but guaranteed Kyogre goes down at the end of this turn, is uh, there's no reason to just straight up attack the Kyogre when I can protect my Ferrothorn and Brick Break the, Zot, uh, the Incineroar. Since he's life orb, he just goes down. So I protect and I brick break. He's protecting Cineroar. This is news. This is news to me. Did he just go for Blizzard? I hope you miss. Thank you. <laughs> I kindly request that you miss me. Okay, um... I think I'm gonna get my Grim Snarl in here. No, Ferrothorn's not terribly important anymore. I'll just go for the Body Press play and try to double you. Because like I said, like this, this thing goes down regardless. He withdraws it. That's actually pretty huge. This will do decent damage. Especially if he misses this blizzard, he's not going to like this. Oh, he missed something. He missed the fair thorn. That's like the only thing he didn't need to miss. <laughs> okay, we're good. Pretty certain we're, good. we're just good here. Gonna get this body press off. That's now gonna be in range of a Behemoth Blade. And... Did you get the job in Boston? I still don't know. At this point tomorrow, I'm just gonna follow up with them. I applied to like seven other jobs today. Okay, so uh, if it's Protect Incineroar, I have no clue what it's, what's its uh, speed stat. So we're going to do this. I'm going to go for the Fake Out into this thing and just hope that it works. Yep, I went first. That's huge. Hopefully he fakes up my Grim Snarl. Yep, huge. And now I get my Reflect off and I should win. His Body Press a two-shot. Uh, not quite, but I'm not really in a losing position. Let's go for a Protect. And a Reflect here. I mean, the, the Zacian's depth, or no, the Incinera is within Sacred Sword range, but it also has Protect, which is something we have to take into account. Thing that is not fun to take into account, I remind you. There's the B-Blade. Go down to that. Critical hit. And there's the Flare Blitz. Now, if, if the Incinerar was not rocking Protect, I would not be scared here. If it was not rocking the Protect, I would not be scared. Um, however, I think I still just have to go for it. Okay. 
I need the sacred sword this thing and go for the body press onto you. Hopefully it doesn't protect. I think he wants to protect the Zacian. Oh no. I got it wrong, didn't I? Oh, he sacred sorted. I should live that. We're good. We won. He's going to take Iron Barb's damage. Uh, yeah, we should win every time now. They need a double protect. Yeah, if they went for a Behemoth Blade there, I'd actually be pretty disappointed. Uh, but let me think. If I Sacred Sword here, I should always KO the Incineroar from this range. Uh, and yeah, I, that's this is like, they need a double protect to win. Or they could crit, obviously, but they're not gonna, right? Thank you. Thank you. I was gonna say, if that was Choppleberry, I would have screamed. And this should do it. Nice. Good game. Good, good game. Protect and Sin is is pretty subpar in my opinion, but if if it if it works, it works, you know. It's it's not like there's ever a bad move to run on Incineroar, except for maybe Honestly, it's got a decent special attack stat. There it is pretty hard to find a bad move to run on Incineroar. Face a Colossal. If I'm being real, I'm not prepared to face Colossal. I I don't I don't have anything for that. Hmm. This is like a losing matchup. Uh, I can go Grim Snarl and Mewtwo. And definitely need Zacian. Do I want Incineroar? Yeah, I have like no ground moves on this team. That just hit me. Team is bad. Throwing it away. Throwing it away. This team is bad. Uh, we'll go Incineroar. Listen, if they let off with the, um, with the Aselgor, we're fine. No, it's Dragapult. Okay. Uh, so now we do damage control, effectively. Now we're just doing damage control. I'm gonna go ahead and get my light screen off. And... Which is more... Why have I not done the math yet? Max Rockfall, Max Mindstorm. Uh, 130 times 1.5. Max Rockfall is stronger, but not by much. I think my play here is just going to be to Mindstorm, like twice. When will we see Power Trip in Sin? It's been done in the past, not by me though. In Sin learns Lick. Lick is just better Nuzzle. Lick is just better Nuzzle. When will you guys learn? Luckily, Mewtwo's got pretty decent special defense. I'm not lying to myself, right? Mewtwo's got good special defense. Double checking right now. He's got 106 HP, 90 special defense. Oh, he crit himself, right? No, you just got special attack investment? Couldn't be me. All right. Better Nuzzle's guaranteed paralysis, though. Yeah, but you don't lick him. I'm sorry, there's 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 no other move that, that licks people. So lick is better. This was never about the paralysis. Oh, wow, that's not doing much. This was never about the paralysis. It was about sending a message. All right, uh, next one's a KO. So one would assume he's gonna ally switch because we're an Ultra Ball. 
So we're going to bank on that. One would assume he's about to ally switch. Let's go for the Reflect and the Mindstorm into you. And what did I tell ya? Imagine. Imagine running a move like Ally Switch. Imagine running Ally Switch and thinking you did something. Oh no, it's Max Flare! I'm gonna take 30! Less, actually. Goodbye. Okay, uh, so positives and negatives to the play that we just made. By setting up Max Mindstorm, while we did avoid taking unnecessary chip damage after the Vocalith, uh, we're also going to not be able to fake out the um, incoming Zacian. However, we have a Reflect Up, so we don't even have to make that call. We can just, you know, do our thing. Let's get the Incineroar in. We're going to go for um, we're gonna go for our funny move. It's Calyrex. That's actually better. I just spam Snarl and I win. Snarl, Phantasm, we're good. I should live a hit, right? From this range? All right, uh, at this point, there's not really a point in guessing. I'm just gonna attack. Yeah, we live from half. There's no way we die to this. I don't mind ally switch on Shedinja, mainly because I always know it's coming. Yep, we live. I'm gonna live the Dragon Darts too, check it out. Breaking Swipe? Definitely live that. Goodbye Calyrex, nice knowing you. Alright, and he's going to take the full power of this. Which is actually pretty high. Alright, Mewtwo goes down. Um, and now I have a Zacian behind screens and an Incineroar. Sort of, kind of comes down to calling the ally switch, but not, not too much. I think I always double target the Dragapult funny enough. Let me think. What is the downside to double targeting Dragapult. Um, we saw Breaking Swipe, we saw Surf, we saw Ally Switch. It probably doesn't have Phantom Force, so I think I always just double target Dragapult, and I always win. If it doesn't have Protect, that's the case. There we go. Please, Behemoth Blade me. He's Sacred Sorted. Lame. I'm just gonna hit it again. I basically only have to get one of these calls correct again. And so far, I've called them like every time. Ow, that hurts. Uh, is he gonna ally switch again? I don't think so. But that Vocalith is hurting. Oh, he did ally switch. Oh, I lose. Please take somehow less than half from this. Please be like a, a modest, no attack IV, no attack EV, Zacian. Is that a roll? Is there is there a world where that's a roll? All right. I don't think that's a roll. I think we just lose. Disappointing.
That'd be kind of cool if I just lived on one there, though. All good. Oh, let me turn off showdown. There we go. Are you going to be at NAIC? Uh, I haven't seen you since the plague. I might be. Perhaps. It's, 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 it's iffy. It, it's pretty iffy at this Pass point. Up on it this game and probably just go Incineroar. Thinks the fall of Julius. Yeah, no, this is pretty free. Um, I just go for a light screen and I'm gonna get my uh, I'm gonna get my Incineroar in on the field. If I were them here, I would go for the Will-O-Wisp like immediately. What of these boosting moves suits Haxorus well? Dragon Dance or Swords Dance? Uh, it's kind of a hard call because it definitely needs the speed to do anything. Um, but also, it doesn't it doesn't want to get intimidated once and lose its whole attack thing. So I would say just pair it with speed control and run Swords Dance. All right, let's see if I catch a Willow Wisp here. That'd be huge. Astral Barrage, that's going to bounce off me more or less, so I'll just go for Snarl here and uh, Spirit Break. They don't have any real powerful physical attackers. That is that Specs? That feel, I feel like it shouldn't have done that much. Or is it like Spell Tag or something? Let's see. We'll find out soon. I, I, hello? Are you just going to attack me again? Yeah, I, I guess they're just staying in. Okay. They definitely just crit my sin. Hopefully I don't miss the snarl. That'd be very annoying. But I'm going to say it might be specs. I have no idea how much that should be doing, to be honest. All right. Let's honestly just keep clicking this. Like, there's there's no incentive to switching, and there's there's no reason for them to just stay in and keep clicking that move beyond fishing for crits. At this point, it's gonna do like 10%. Yeah, they're gonna switch. Let's see if they follow me. If they go Kyogre, they still don't like this. They go Whimsicott. Um, and they also protect. That's huge, because I'm gonna get really decent, decent damage off here on this thing. And I'm also not gonna KO it for a couple of turns so <laughs> the the benefit to this is they're probably going to go down before they get to use the tailwind or they're probably going to like stay in the field long enough where they don't get to bring something in that uses tailwind effectively is what i meant to say there uh but let's just keep clicking our funny move oh i probably should have spirit broken the indeedy
They're really thinking about this. They're really thinking. Helping hand. Okay, I guess they're just going to go for uh, Moonblast. I don't even know if that KOs me from this range. Dazzling Gleam. There's no way that KOs either of these. Alright, hopefully I can get this thing off the field ASAP. Yeah, that should drop as long as I connect. Cool. So no Tailwind. Um, at that point, I think I just straight up win with uh, Assault Vest Thundee. They don't have too much for that. They send in the Ogre. Uh, honestly, fine by me. Fine by me. How many turns do I have left of Light Screen? Four turns. Yeah, I can just let both these guys go down. Uh, we'll go for the Snarl and the Spirit Break. They're probably just going to Water Spout, but it's not really a big deal. Okay, uh, at this point, I am just going to send in my, in, was it, my Thunderous and my Zacian, and they're also Life Orb, which is a little bit annoying. I hate Life Orb Kyogre. I don't get it. I don't think it's that good. And I'm going to go ahead and go for a, I think I just protect my Zacian and max Airstream into the Indeedee. Do I do that? I think I do. Because they're going to follow me and probably just Dynamax, Max Geyser, my Zacian. Behind screens, it shouldn't do that much. If they helping hand, I'm in a little bit of trouble, but if they helping hand and attack the Thunderous, I live anyways. Boxpiss, are you still doing the cool research stuff with your school? I graduated. I graduated, like, a week ago. Yeah, I know Life Orb Kyogre is getting pretty standard, but I still just don't like it that much. I think Mystic Water achieves a pretty similar effect. Hey, thanks, bubs. Alright, protect. Here's the follow me, nice. And now I'm faster than the Calyrex with my uh, Zacian, so I can KO that. And this should be fine as long as both my mons survive this turn, I just win. Hailstorm shouldn't KO me. Not even close. If you had to choose a Pokemon to represent your field of study, what do you pick and why? Um... Probably Necrozma. I think Necrozma is the most accurate. Um, if you if you aren't aware, Necrozma is a Pokemon that controls light, uh, and it's one of its moves is Photon Geyser, and Photon Geyser is a very interesting fun fact about that move, is um, representing wave particle duality, uh, in the fact that if you consider special moves to be waves and physical moves to be particles, uh, then it it does like exactly that, like um. If it can be both a special and a physical move, and it only gets decided when it figures out which one does more. That's that's a cool little fun fact about Necrozma. All 
All right, let's get this thing off the field. Max Geyser, it's going to be in the Zashi and I'm going to live it. No, it's in the Thunderous. Honestly, you should have Max Geysered the turn prior and taken advantage of the of the rain. This turn, the the hailstorm actually did more. All right, good game. <clears throat> Sweet. 